Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and welcome to another episode of Watch and Learn. Today, we're going to go over alarm watches, uh, analog alarm watches, watches with hands. Uh, you know, I did one of the original Watch and Learns, I don't know what number it was, I covered how to set your GMT watch, and then I did the uh, another quartz complication, the chronograph watch, how to uh, calibrate or reset your chronograph if it's not pointing to zero. And it's like, you know, another problem that people have with watches or, and another complication is the alarm complication. They'll set the alarm on the watch. And again, this is a, we're talking about quartz, you know, ba battery driven watches, not without numbers, you know, with hands. And the alarm doesn't go off at the prescribed time and they can't figure out why. And it's actually pretty simple. Um, I'm going to show you two of the watches in the video today. One is this cool Graf Zeppelin. And the other is this gorgeous blue Seiko Solar Chrono. Really cool. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to set the alarms on these watches. And you're setting the alarms is fairly straightforward, but it's just this concept of reference time that the watch keeps. There's a there's another internal clock in an alarm watch, or in most alarm watches, not all, but uh, you know these in particular, so that the watch knows what time it is. Not only what's displayed by the hands, but it knows in its in its in its internal brain, if you will, or internal computer, because a lot of them they, they have chips in them, uh, what time it is, and and you have to sync that time to the real time, and that's where I think people get thrown for a loop a lot. Uh, my own wrist check, uh, still sporting the U1 on this monstrous rubber strap, and a nice orient uh, sun and moon. So uh, let's get over to the table and check out how to set the alarm on your analog watches. So I have two alarm watches in front of you here, one by uh, Graf Zeppelin and one by Seiko. They're both analog in that they tell their time with hands. Uh, they obviously both have integrated alarms, but you set them each a little bit differently. And, you know, this covers most of the alarm watches out there, obviously not all. But it, this hopefully will give you an idea of, you know, how to fix your alarm if it's not working or, or how to set it if you don't know how. So the first one I'm going to show you is this Graf Zeppelin quartz-based alarm watch. It's got an alarm. It's got a chronograph. It's got a telemeter on the outside. I've shown a watch similar to this in uh, some of the other videos. Uh, I picked this one because it's a little bit different. It's got um, a glow-in-the-dark dial. Um, it's model number. 8680-3. Uh, it does look really cool at night, as you can see. The whole dial lights up. It really looks awesome. But what happens with watches like this is that you get it, you know, you unpack it, you're very happy, you know how to use it, you go and you set the time, whatever the case may be, whatever it is by you. And then you go ahead and you wear the watch for a couple of days and then you say, hey, you know what? It has an alarm. I'm going to use that really nifty alarm feature. And you go to the manual and you set the alarm. And you, you saw the alarm subdial moving. You set the alarm and you wait for the designated time. Hopefully you test it first and you find out the alarm doesn't go off. And then maybe seven or eight hours later, all of a sudden, beep, 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 the alarm is going off and you're wondering, wow, what is going on? Well, the way these work, and this is a, a Ronda movement, uh, the ETA movements work the same exact way. I think all the alarm movements with, you know, with hands work in a very similar fashion. There's basically two, two watches at play here, two clocks at play. There's normal time, which is displayed with the hands that I'm turning now. Forget the little subdial. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. That's the time that the watch displays. But the alarm runs on a reference time which needs to be synced to the hand time. So if the reference time is out of whack, like right now, let's say it's 9 o'clock by us, and the reference time thinks it's 3 o'clock. Well, when you set the reference time, it's referencing the 3 o'clock time. So when the predetermined alarm time comes, the alarm does not go off. So what you need to do is you need to set the reference time, which is not a time that you can really look, visually see in the watch until you go into setting mode. You need to set the reference time to your local time. So let's say right now, let's say it is 9, uh, it's 9 p.m. So we need to set the reference time of the watch to 9 p.m. So how do we do that? If you look at the manual for the watch, it comes with the Ronda 5130 instructions. There is a section called setting the reference time. It's way down at the bottom of the instructions and most people actually ignore it. So let's go through it step by step and we'll show you how to set the reference time on the watch to the uh, current time. 
So the first thing we're going to do is pull the crown out two clicks. And we pull it out and we set the time to nine. And then we push this button down here. I'm going to hold it until the little. I'm going to watch this subdial down here. I'm going to wait until that minute hand advances one notch. Okay, it advanced. So now it's in reference time setting mode. So now we can continue to press this. And we're going to set this little clock down here to nine o'clock. There we go. So now that's the reference time. It says 9. It's not 24 hour time format. It's uh, AM PM. So this alarm will work AM PM. That says 9. The hands say 9. It just beeped because it went out of time setting mode. That's it. So now the watch is set such that the reference time is 9 and the hand time is 9. So now what we want to do is let's just say now we want to go through and set the alarm. So now with the crown pressed fully in, we hold down the B button again and that little hand at the bottom is moving. And what we're doing now is we're setting the alarm. And I'm going to set it for 9.05. Or not, how about 9.04? 9.04 should be good. And now we wait. And there you go. It just told us that the alarm time is set for 9.04. So while we're waiting for the alarm to go to 9.04, how, how do you turn the alarm on and off? Well, you just press this button once. Press it once. One beep means the alarm is off. Two beeps means the alarm is on. So now we're just going to wait until 9.04 and we'll hear the alarm and then we'll know that we set the alarm properly. And then while we're waiting, we'll bring up the next model that I'm going to show you. This is a, uh, a Seiko. This is model number SSC 489. And this is a solar powered watch with, again, with hands. But the way they do it, um, I, I like the way they do it a little bit better because it's also a multi time zone watch. You have to set the hands and the reference time at the same time. So you're kind of forced to uh, you know, correct for this reference alarm time, as we're calling it. Um, on this watch, like let's say daylight savings time comes around in a few months. If I pull the crown out and advance the time one hour, I've just changed the hands time and not the reference time. So now the alarm is going to be off by an hour again. And I go through that. I mean, it wasn't a difficult process, was it? i got to go through a process again to reset the um, reference time on the watch to sync to the hand time. The way Seiko does it is uh, just a little bit different. So the way we do it here is we pretend we're going to set the time. We pull out the crown two clicks. Wait for the watch to do its thing, and we set the time. So let's say, let's, let's just do 9 o'clock again because that's what we did the other one too. And the other alarm should be going off any minute now. So hopefully it doesn't interrupt us, or hopefully it does interrupt us actually. So there, I've now set it for 9 o'clock. Uh, I really am not paying attention to the date, so I don't know if it's a.m. or p.m., but it, it doesn't matter because you'll, you'll see in a second we're going to set it to 24-hour time, not 12-hour time. So once we set the local time, 9 o'clock, we then press this button here, and you see this big red hand is going around? We need to set it to our local time zone, Los Angeles, Denver, Chicago. I'm in New York City. Well, I'm not in New York City, but I'm in the New York City time zone, GMT minus 5. So there, now I've told the watch... I'm in New York City, and the time is 9 o'clock. So now the next thing that the instructions walk you through is you need to set the reference time to show that it's uh, 9 o'clock p.m. So how do you do that? Well, it's pretty simple. So down here, we've got a whole second clock, right? A, a second dial with an hour and a minute's hand. So the next thing we're going to do is this button down here, we're going to push it, and look at that. We're going to start advancing this 24-hour time. So 9 o'clock p.m. is 2100 hours. So here's 1800 hours, right? 1920 and here's 21. Whoops, there goes the other watch. It works. Here's 2100 hours, just like that. And now when I push the crown in, I'm all set. It goes to chron it goes to our power reserve display mode. And now my reference time is set. And this all links in now because the watch is also a dual time zone watch. If you hold this button down here, it goes into world time mode. So it shows me in New York City, it's 11 o'clock at night. Excuse me, 9 o'clock at night. It looks like 11. Isn't that confusing? It's the one thing I don't like about this watch. I own the SSC 508, I believe. And it does get confusing. You have to think about it. But oh, it, it, sw it switched back. Let's do it again. Just show you really quick. So there goes into world time mode, and then what you can do is you can just move the hand to a different time zone, and it will tell you what the time is there. And again, in 24-hour time, 
Uh, but now when this times out, it'll go back. And then when I go back into real time, it'll immediately show me what time zone it is. But ditto with the alarm now. So now the reference time is set. You set the alarm in a similar fashion, uh, and then the alarm will go off. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole exercise because it's quite similar to what I did with the other watch. And Seiko does write a, a decent manual on this. So this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you how to set the alarm on your analog watch. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do so. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.